Good evening, Merry Christmas 2018. Today is the third day of Christmas, and my son Peter and I are here for another review on the RomanCatholicGear.com Spiritual Ammo Can. So, you can see the good size comparison to a four-year-old child here. He's about to turn four years old, coming up in a couple of weeks. And we are in the Christmas season. Our last video, we reviewed the BibleToys.com nativity set. So today, we are going to review the spiritual ammo can from RomanCatholicDeer.com. I just received this as a Christmas present, and I really like it a lot. So, Peter's going to open up the can. Just a little latch on the side over here. So the first thing it comes with on the top, and it comes in this little pouch right here, are these two books. Hold on, Peter. Let's do one at a time, okay? So these are the books that it comes with. It has a combat prayer book. This right here, these remind me of little, uh, the size of a pocket New Testament. And this right here, the combat prayer book, it reminds me of a daily Roman Missal. I have one. It has a lot of the same prayers in it, kind of how to be a better Catholic. And the precepts of the church and how to strive to be better. And it has a lot of basic prayers on the inside of it. And the other book is a 54-day basic training in holiness. I will be using this uh, during a renewal of consecration. It has a renewal of the consecration to Jesus through Mary in here. And it has the St. Maximilian Kolbe Marian consecration. So these are written... Or the combat prayer book here you can see is written by Father Richard Heilman himself. He's a very good priest. I like his articles on his website, Gabby After Hours. I have given him a shout out in a previous video, and he gave a good video last year on the Nineveh 90 and what Father Richard Heilman does. And I would recommend looking into that program. It's like a spiritual boot camp for 90 days. I did it last year. Because from New Year's Day 2018 to Easter 2018, it was exactly 90 days. But I think this is actually a good thing. There's not a necessarily a Nineveh 90 on his website right now. But I think a good time of year to prepare would be New Year's Day to Easter every year. Because Easter is always, it's not going to be 90 days between all the time. Peter's shown, yes, your hand is showing through that. <laughs> but I think this will be a good book to use. Uh, 54 days, 54 days beforehand, before Easter. So these books come with little tabs in them, two of them, like uh, little bookmarks that you can use. So that is the first thing that comes in the ammo can. All right, Peter, let's grab the first one. What's in here? Our first ammo can. Let's take a look. It is Blessed Salt Flask. Now this is laser engraved, which is pretty neat right here. Peter's going to get this out for me. And what do we have here? Yes, the holy salt. It's a blessed salt. You see it's laser engraved right here. Blessed salt. So I put salt in here. It doesn't come with salt. And I had my priest, uh, one of my priests, Father Michael, he... Bless the salt for me. There is an exorcism prayer that goes with it too. So this can, they come with the prayers. When you want to give these, if you put salt in here and you want to get it blessed, it actually comes with a prayer card for your priest if they don't know the blessing. Father Michael actually pulled out his phone and he looked it up and he, he blessed it for me. Yeah. Right, okay, so let's put this back. That's the first one. It's pretty heavy duty. It's stainless steel. And it has a nice little cover, and it uh, twists, the, the top twists off, and I guess you can a attach it as a keychain over here, too. Okay, let's wanna put that back. We'll close it up. Our next ammo can is a holy water flask. There you go. All right, this looks 
exactly the same laser engraved as the blessed salt canister. And what does this one hold, Peter? Um, they have um, holy water. Yes, it holds holy water on the inside of it. And the top twists off of it, and you can just keep some holy water in there. Well, so let's see, does it show the word holy water on there? Um, yes, it does, right there. That way you know what you're using between the blessed salt and holy water. And these ammo cans actually have the words on the top, like this one says, blessed salt flask. And it comes with a prayer card for holy water in there as well. And holy water flask as well. Let's we'll move on to the next one. Let's yeah. just move these over here. Let's see the goodies it's come with. So far it's come with two books and two ammo boxes, ammo containers, one with blessed salt flask and a holy water flask. Mm -hmm. Our next one comes with a little pouch right here. And on the inside of the pouch, we get a combat rosary. Do you know what kind of rosary that is, Peter? What kind is it? Uh-uh. It has a beat and a cross. It has a cross. It has a pardon crucifix on it. Now, this one specifically, I got a... You have an option of what to get. You're going to be getting a combat rosary um, with this set. Um, let's leave this. I'll hold this right here, okay? So let's show. I got the gun metal rosary here. Oops. And it has a prayer card on the inside he's reaching for. And that's for a blessing on a rosary. Let's leave this open because we're going to talk about the rosary a little bit, okay? So this gun metal rosary is actually the official rosary of the Pontifical Swiss Guard. I guess you don't want to show that one very much, huh? Well, I already have a combat rosary in silver. The other option that it shows that you can buy is a gold, a gold one as well. And I've been wanting the gunmetal one for a while. Now, this has a pardon crucifix on it. And also has a St. Benedict medal as well on it right over here. Um, it's, it's and it has a miraculous medal for the centerpiece. Now when Father Michael blessed this rosary, he did a rosary blessing on it. And he also did a separate blessing for the St. Benedict medal. So it's pretty good quality. Peter, for some reason, doesn't really want to go over it very much right now. But I still... This going right here. Right. So do you like this rosary? Yeah. It's... Why do you like this one? And you have the nativity scene, yes. And we have the Catholic Gentleman rosary I reviewed about nine months ago or so. You can take a look at that review if you want. Very good rosary. It's holding up very, very well. So I have a little arsenal, it's like a little Batman utility belt of rosaries that I have. I have a silver combat rosary, I have the is, combat rosary, uh, or the gunmetal rosary, is, and a rugged rosary. Uh, next one is... What's the next one? It's is, is a silver and a scapular metal. A scapular and a scapular metal, yes. So, this was my old scapular right here. It was getting a little bit worn out. The container, or the ammo can, comes with a brand new cloth scapular. So the deal with this is you have to be vested in the cloth scapular first before uh, getting a scapular metal. And that was one of the main reasons why I got this spiritual ammo can is because of the scapular metal. I have to take it off right now. I forgot I was wearing it. So this is what it is. This is what I meant of... of here, let's let's put it on. Let's put it down on the table here. Okay, this is a four-way scapular metal right here. Now it's the shape of the cross. It has a it has a miraculous metal right here. And it has a Sacred Heart image right here, Holy Face of Jesus image, not Sacred Heart, Holy Face of Jesus. In the middle of it, it has a Holy Spirit. St. Joseph, St. Benedict medal, and when you flip it over, it has the back of the miraculous medal. Let's see, let's take a look at this. 
It's very tough to see because it's so small, but there's an infant of Prague on it, Our Lady of Mount Carmel on it, the back of the St. Benedict medal right there, and in the middle is a guardian angel. So they call it a four-way medal. It has a lot of sacramentals on it. It's much more convenient mm -hmm. because I would actually wear the cloth scapular, and this was the main thing that I would wear. But I would try to wear a miraculous medal sometimes, and in these strings, that miraculous medal would get caught. He's trying to put the medal back over my head right now. So I'll do that for him. But I like this medal because it can hold all of it, and there are no tangles on the inside. So... When I'm done, I, I want to keep this scapular because it is still usable. It's just worn out pretty well. So let's put these back in the bag. Uh, what do you like better, Peter? The metal, the scapular metal, or the cloth scapular? Uh, um, 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 uh, which color is that? As I like, but in a metal can now. Okay, we're putting them in the metal cans now. But... I still like these, um, um, uh, um, these um, dyes. Okay, so let's put it in the can. These are cool. I, I know. And we can put these all back. So it's a convenient, nice little carry case. It's when you need to go into combat, you know where to go. We can use these things every day for the rest of our life. Here. And we'll put, well, that won't, we forgot to put the rosary in there, but that's okay. Ah, I forgot to show. This comes with a rosary card, too. This, it's called, it says, Roman Catholic Church, Concealed Carry License, Combat Rosary Prayer Warrior. Um, can, so this goes into this little sleeve um, right here. Um, can I put, put a button? Yeah, you can put the rosary back in there. So I would say, I would recommend it. The box is $70.00. I know that this was purchased during the Advent season, and they had a good sale on it, and it was 20% off of your entire order. So RomanCatholicGear.com, it came with some pretty good quality stuff right here. I think the price is actually very good on it. If you buy it all separately without any ammo cans, it actually comes to much more expensive if you purchase things separately. So I think this was a very good deal, and it comes with the ammo cans for that price. So I think it's a wonderful gift, especially if you know somebody who's in the RCIA program. I think this is the perfect thing uh, to get. There's reading material, sacramentals, and all the things that we need in our spiritual journey, which will strengthen us. You can put the books back in here like that. And let's close it up. I know. I know. I know. Yes. I know. I see. See you later. All right, thank you everybody, and once again, have a Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. Ooh, that was